Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial, I'm just going to quickly show you the pattern editor and in particular the hex feature. Now, to demonstrate it, it's actually probably pretty easy to actually show uh, the hex via using a hex or hexagon design. It actually doesn't look so effective when it's like a circle or uh, any other sort of design, yeah, or a square. But I'm just going to quickly show uh, hexagon design and object pattern make and of course by default it goes to the grid option now the grid option obviously is quite good for many things and this is quite fine brick by row in game you can see the lovely uh, design you can of course shift those slightly as well just do various shifts not so effective much nicer but the one I want to quickly show you obviously hex by column now strangely the hex by row doesn't actually look as good. I mean, it's okay, it's just got some overlap. Obviously, more convenient with the options there for overlaps. Anyway, I'm actually going to be showing the hex by column. And, well, they are straight away. You can actually see the design is actually hexagon. So you've actually got one there, one there, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now, you can actually size tile to art. And then, once you've done that, you can actually say, Give some space into it. So 20, 20, nice honeycomb design, which is quite easy way of doing that. And of course you can resize the hexagon. So you can actually modify it like that. I'm actually going to remove the size tile to art. So I'm just going to, that gives the spacing obviously between all the various, it's actually quite slow at times. You can see a slight uh, drag when you actually create the uh, design. Right, next thing to do is actually you can of course also modify the width and the height. So I'm just gonna quickly show you, I'm gonna put something ridiculous in here, 300, say. And of course, bang, straight away, it spreads it out massively. Of course you can, if you wish, you can actually make them all crunched in as well. So the, the design can be sort of, like I say, overlapping Becomes more effective at this point because of course you've got paths that are over lapping in the patterns now I'm just going to go back to say 200 and I'm going to do this one to a bit more extreme go uh, 500 probably off the screen if I did a thousand and flies off so you've got again a gap huge design so there's really quite a lot of things you can do with the hexagon design so I'm just going to save a copy of that Probably won't be using that one, but I'm just going to now. I'm just going to cancel. I'm just going to come out, and I'm just going to bring in just a square now. And I'm going. I'm going to use the hexagon. So pattern make and hex by column. And of course, it's got width there, which is obviously not very effective. So size with top art, and I'm going to give a bit of spacing, 50. 50. And again, the hexagon can be seen because you've got this. There's the square hexagon, and it's around each of those edges. Just see the edge there. So that's the basic design for hex by column. And you can do again hex by row. And again, you can still see it's done by row. You can actually see the position of the squares for each of the hexagon in the pattern. So it's quite effective design as well. Looks very similar actually when squares to the, the other one. So I'm just going to go to the brick. You'd hardly be able to tell the difference. So it works for some, much more effective maybe than, than other designs. So I hope you found this quick tutorial of the hex feature, hex by column, hex by row of interest and use, and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel, always adding new videos. Thank you much.